Hi, welcome back to Pixelpia. Today we're going to continue working in our Google account that we created and we're going to go over all the settings. So let's move over to my computer. In the Google account we set up, we're going to start on the personal information today. And here we can see the basic info. As you can see, I have already changed my picture here, but all you have to do is click there and click in the little circle. And you have two alternatives. You can choose an illustration or you can upload from the computer. And when it's done, you just click out of it, save it. You have your name, your birthday, and your gender. And for some of these, you can choose, for example, for your birthday. Who can see it, if it's only you or if it's anyone? Then we have the contact info that we put up, your basic email and your alternative email. And as you can see, I took away my phone number because I use that phone number on my main account. Here you can also put in information as your home address, work address, other addresses. It depends on how official you want your Google account to be. If you use it as an official account, you can add more in about you. You can add more about your education and your work experiences. And if you scroll down further down, you can go in and change your password from here or from your security page. And general preference your language that you prefer when you use your Google account and your language for your keyboard. And if you need accessibility help, for example, high contrast colors, if you are visually impaired. And at the bottom of each of these pages we go through now, you will find some suggestion if you're looking for something else. Next, we go up to the left-hand side here to date and privacy. First, you can do a privacy checkup. Then you have your data and privacy options. Here you can see everything you have done, places you have been on the web. You have your history here, location history if you have that. I have mine paused, but if you have that and, for example, use your phone and your maps and you use Google to find addresses, that will show up here under the maps timeline. You will get the map that shows all the places you have been and then your YouTube history. Underneath here, you can see and delete your activity, your maps timeline or, and your YouTube watch and search history. Then we have some setups for my ad center. If you use personal ads on Google, partners and settings, most of us don't even have to look at that. And if you want personal results in search that is based on your watch history. If you are using Google Fit, you do all your settings and your privacy settings in here and info you can share with others. For example, your profile. You can go through what parts of this you want to be shared by others and your location share. Then you have other relevant options that we will talk more about a little later, like payment methods and contact subscriptions and things like that. But now let's go into the most important part, and that is security. I have already created a video about how to set up most of this, and I will have it linked up somewhere here on the screen and in the description. Because in that video, I go through it step by step. The new thing here is a pass key is something you set up to confirm that it's really you. So let's create a pass key. So now I use a pin to log in to my computer. And since I'm setting up this as a pass key just for the computer, I just put in my pin there. And let's sign out quickly from my account here and let's log in again. And now I need to put in that code to log in. In this case, I just used the login code I had for my computer. But let's take a look here. 
you can use another device. For example, I can set it up for a external security key. I can set it up for my phone or a different phone or a tablet, which I have done on my main account. This is an easier way to set up a two-factor authentication than using the little app. But as I said, all the instructions of how to use all the regular security settings are including 2FA is in the other video link down below. Under security, you can also see where you have logged in from. I have only logged into this specific account from my computer. And you can go in under manage and see when and where you were logged in from which device. Find a lost device. If you have your phone connected here, you can set up a find my device. If you have connections to third party apps and services, you can set up enhanced safe browsing for your account. You can check if your email exists anywhere out on the dark web. And then we have the password manager. On many sites, you sign up and create an account. When you log into one of those accounts, a little pop-up pop up up in this area and ask you, do you want to save this to your password manager? And if you do, it will show up here and you can see all the websites where you have saved your login information in password manager. All the websites that you have saved in your password manager will show up here. You can delete them, some of them or all of them in here. You have a little settings wheel here. Here you can turn off offer to save password. If you don't want to save any password in your password manager, you can turn it off here. You can use auto sign in where you have saved passwords and you can set up password alerts if they find your password somewhere online you can export your password list or you can import if you have a csv file with safe password now let's go down to people and share your family on google this is to set up several people that can use the functions in your account. For example, if you have kids, you might want to add them. It can also be a friends group. It says here, create a family group. You can have up to six people that can share and they can have their own email address. They can use docs. They can use all the functions and you share the 15 megabyte of total space to use between all of you. The person who sets up this account is the administrator and managing everything. So let's add myself in this and it is sending an invite. <clears throat> and here I got an email and I will accept the invitation. And now you see we have two members. It's me and it's me. Manage your family group. That is where you can add and delete members and now we can share contacts we can block user location sharing that way i can see where the other members of my family is by going into the maps and so forth it can be very useful if you have a family the last part we're going to look at is payment and um, payment method here you can add to your GPay, you can add a credit or a debit card, which I'm not going to do in this case. I use GPay frequently on my phone, but on my main account. And here, if you have used it, you can see your experience, your purchases. This is your storage. As I said, you get 15 gigabyte of storage, and that is for everything that you have in drive gmail docs photos all your things you create 
if you have set up a group account, a family account, it is 15 gigabytes for all of you. If you have subscription to news or if you are frequent on YouTube and are subscribed to membership group there, this is where your subscription comes up. So I hope that helped you with your settings in your Google account. In my next tutorial, we're going to start looking at Gmail. As always, we're going to start with the very, very basic. But Gmail has so many functions. So that will probably be several tutorials. And if you want to learn more about Gmail, make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell for notification. Until next time. Bye.